She she used to be pretty neat when she would eat the first week. First, now she's man her her bottles are twice as big, and just one week she's starting to eat like your dad. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You my little peanut. I love you. I love you. Can you see your face here a little bit? Oh, there you go, your little bookie. You, my little baby. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to make a poopy. You trying to make a poopy? <laughs> that is my daughter. Good times. <laughs> Be a dad. It's the best thing in the world. Hey, Angelo here. And I have a very special announcement. <laughs> Welcome to the world, Priscilla Marie, who eats and sleeps. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oops, I gotcha, I gotcha. So, yeah, we're just taking a little power nap. Anyways, this is awesome. You know, I had so many people. I can't whisper. You know, my mom always said, you got such a deep voice. You know, tone it down. I can't tone it down. Uh, people who have kids that, oh, you'll never know until you have one. And I was like, I, you know, I, I know what it's like because I've had nieces and nephews from day one. And, you know, yeah, I, 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 in my head, I'm thinking, I know, I know what it's like. I know exactly what it's like. For those of you who do not have kids yet, You'd have no idea what it is like until you hold your own living flesh. <laughs> flesh and blood. Man. Oh, I wish my mom was here. Oh, she's here. She's right up she's right up there in the red gift box. <laughs> oh some family photos. Man, I wanna say thank you, you know. Um, thank you for uh, sticking with Fire Lab and Associates, because you know, it's uh, we took a really bold step, you know, ten years ago. Now we got rid of the percentage, first company to do that, and um, took an eighty percent revenue loss. And the goal was to do the same work for a lot less money, and and uh, that's because of a creation of a database, a research database that let us move to the flat fee. And it's really good at what it does. Um, uh, I now have what all fathers must feel. This overwhelming um, sense of pride. This overwhelming sense of responsibility. Like, uh -huh. For those of you who don't know, I was raised by a single mom. Uh, my mom married a rich guy who left her with nothing but two kids, not a cent. And um, she went right into nursing. Uh, she graduated when I was, well, she graduated when I was 10. Um, didn't go right into nursing. She, let, she got divorced when I was three, pregnant with my sister. And um, she graduated when I was 10 and never looked back. Um, lived paycheck to paycheck, took us all around the world. Saw all the states except Hawaii, Alaska, and Rhode Island. Um, and never put us in dangerous neighborhoods or circumstances. You know, never moved us into the ghetto. We were homeless twice. Age 13, uh, she broke her ankle. There was a railing outside the house that the, was wobbly. And moving in, she said, hey, winter's coming. Can you please fix this? I'm afraid, you know, we'll have an accident in the winter. Winter came. Stepped out on the ice. Her ankle went through the iron and she cracked her ankle with it. She fell the four feet to the ground. Uh, couldn't work as a nurse. Um, uh, we were um, taken away. Uh, my mom had us in a private school, paying for a private school for two kids, single mom, in uh, Springfield, Illinois. And uh, DCFS took us away when my grades started to plummet. You know, um, the, the nice church was helping us with a little bit of food and that. My mom couldn't work with a cast on. My mom went to work. Um, tried to go to work and they wouldn't let her work with a cast on. And my mom ended up cutting the cast off with a steak knife and going to work as a nurse with a fractured ankle. 
with a fractured ankle. And I said, man, that kind of love, I could not understand that until, until this. I just, I, I will never get tired of holding her. Never. His feet. Man, good stuff. I mean, really good stuff. Pardon the emotion, but we're a, we're a family business. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I have this, over sense, this overwhelming sense of uh, responsibility and desire. I just, I mean, I want to push again. She, she relit my fire <laughs> because I don't want her to want for anything. She's going to know the value of a dollar. It's not going to be a spoiled little rich kid. And I'm not rich, by the way. I I still live paycheck to paycheck. Um, but um, I'm making changes with the business. We're going to improve the phone stuff. Man, I'm so sorry about the phone. You know, we tried to outsource phone calls. Um, well, here in Vietnam, uh, I, I got stuck here for COVID. Became my home and now my family um, is here. Uh, but I'm going to be going back and forth. Little Miss Priscilla Marie here is going to have a U.S. passport in a few weeks. Uh, she is an American citizen born abroad status. And, uh, oh man, uh, I just really want to try hard and I promise you guys I'm going to work hard. Um, we are the number one rated company, five stars everywhere, A plus rating, Better Business Bureau, and I need um, I need more Google reviews. So if we did good for you in the past, please do a Google review. If we frustrated you or made you upset, please understand this. Everything happens in mass. We have thousands and thousands of customers now. And when something happens, everybody wants to talk to somebody at once. And the problem is we've tried to make this an automated system. There's only four or five people in the office. And um, we try to update during via email and video so you know what's going on. I know we've been a little slow on that lately. That's going to change. Everything is changing. Um, God, I love her. Just looks so freaking happy. Just peaceful, you know. It brings the peace that you miss in your life. Uh, security is one thing I've never had in my life, you know. And um, it's something I'd like for her to have. You know, I've got nobody above me that I can go to. I am the guy. I'm the dude. And uh, I always watch movies where even adult kids can go home and take a break when there's something bad going on. Or life gets to be too much. And I want to be that for her. I want to... Uh, I want her to uh, become a good person by example. I want her to be generous. My mom and I, you know, my mom taught me how to be generous. My mom would spend every cent she could on me and my sister, gave us everything we needed. Not everything we wanted, but everything we needed. And her extra money she would spend buying medicine for her patients, her home health care patients who couldn't afford their medicine. Oh, uh, just look at these little hands. <laughs> perfect, man, perfect. I think that little, we think of that little dot on her head is her birthmark. I don't know if you can see that. It hasn't gotten lighter or darker, and she's about a week old now. Oh, man. So, uh, anyways, please uh, help me grow. Okay, please help me grow, and I promise I won't let you down. Um, it's if, if if you live in Cook County, and you, and you own a house, you got to be fighting, man. It's the number two state people are leaving, and I've told customers forever they're just going to transfer the burden to those who stay. They're not going to lose the money. So, um, I also want to get these guys home. <laughs> uh, she's going to have her U.S. status in two weeks. The mom's going to take about a year. Uh, 15 months, okay, and um, uh, she's a great woman too. Um, she helped me save Farlap in its 20th something year.
during COVID. I could not get help in Chicago. I could not get help here. There was a total lockdown here. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to invite you now to see my personal life. Okay, I'm going to post this on my personal YouTube. Um, well, I have a personal personal that's got personal stuff. <laughs> but um, I started a um, a channel called Dream Big Kid. One word: Dream Big Kid. About five years ago, when something really bad happened to me, I thought I was going to be a dad back then. And um, I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, it's it's uh it's past but um this is my uh this is my little angel and it this makes everything okay right now so i just want to make everything okay for her man i mean it's cool it is so cool it is such a blessing and oh <laughs> i'm not gonna get too much in religion but man I don't care who you believe in, who you pray to, as long as you believe in something, okay? Because it's the non-believers that I worry about. I mean, I mean that moment, the moment you, this little thing pops out, you know, you, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's too cool just to be science. There needed to be two of them, man and woman, to make one. So, you know, how did that happen? Uh... I pray, and I pray all the time. My mom taught me, my mom taught me to do that. I'm trying to whisper, I cannot, cannot whisper. I mean, this is the best, best feeling in the world. And I just, I wanna take her places. I wanna show her the Rocky Mountains. I wanna, Take her to Wisconsin Dells, water slides, camping. My mom used to take us camping all summer long, 30 days. Now looking back, I'm thinking she did it just to save rent, but it was fun. It was the best. Oh man. Indian Hot Springs and Idaho Springs, Colorado, way up in the mountains. Awesome stuff. Florida, driving from Lauderdale to Key West, sticking your feet in two different oceans, Gulf of Mexico, travel, I just want to get, I want to get so many stamps in her passport, I uh, just can't wait till she's old enough to start remembering it, so, trying to get my, Trying to collect myself. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please help me grow. Okay? This is awesome. And I want to succeed. I don't want to worry about college. You know, I'm 20 years behind. So I am a 48-year-old man. With a 7-day-old child. And, uh... I gotta lose a little weight. <laughs> and I'm working on that. I lost 10 pounds in four days. Her mother, God bless her heart, her name is, her name is Fung, uh, Vietnamese national. She was in labor 26 hours and 45 minutes. Uh, it's a newer hospital, it's a nice hospital. I was able to prepay for everything, thanks to you guys. I was able not to worry because I and I was able to feel proud that I that I had it taken care of and I just remember my mom at times needing to you know beg and borrow from friends and to make ends meet with two single children on her or two kids on her own as a single mom I don't want I don't want to worry anymore I want to be super secure and I want to make it to the next level that's my goal Please help me, and Priscilla, and her mom get to the next level. Her mom worked 16, 18 hour days for 47 days in a row during the height of COVID. Uh, there was two weeks here where you could not even go outside. You could not even take your dog outside. You know, like 
and she, it, we got up, brushed our teeth, sat down, and put headsets on, and she helped me save Firelap and Associates. Uh, we started a little restaurant here. It's cozy. You'll get to see it on my channel. Dream Big Kid. And uh, we were hoping that when we did 50-50 on that, that was my thank you, that it would help her get a tourist visa. Uh -huh. Two tries on tourist visa didn't work. So we're married now, and now she's going to get her, her status in about a year. Um, but Priscilla here will be able to come to America in just about a month. Hi, baby. I'm sorry. Okay, let me get off this phone, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to give her some food. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, okay. I love you. I love you. You're my baby girl. I love you. You're my baby girl. I love you. That's right. <laughs> I talk to her the same way I talk to our dog. <laughs> I love you. You're my little baby girl. That's right. Okay. Take care. Call your mother. I'll tell you I love her. Pardon me being a mess, but trust me, I got your best interest in. I got your best interest. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Look at me. I'm a professional. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like that? You like that? Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I always have your best interest in mind. And man, I'm going to grind. And I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you to watch the ride. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film everything. I've, I've been filming everything. I've got thousands of hours of things I've done here that I just don't have time to edit. Editing takes forever. Um, I appreciate you. And I thank you in advance for helping us grow. All right? Please get a friend. Hit the website twice a year. Two appeal windows. The first is the assessor. Uh, we email you a file that you upload to the county. That makes it yours. First agency sucks. They're horrible. They're the same ones that raise you every three years, whether you're fighting or not. Um, better to go down, get your value lowered, and get raised on that value instead of doing nothing. And it gets hit three years again and again and again. You know, So uh, you beat it down as much as you can. You can fight those two agencies each year. And um, <laughs> round and round we go. All right. Call your mother. Tell your lover, man. I cannot tell you how important that is. Tomorrow, tomorrow is promised to no one. Not even me. Not even you. Gotta go. I just want to be baby time. I just love the way she curls up. I mean, she's just so comfortable. I think she thinks I got boobs. I don't have boobs. I got man boobs. I think... I think I talk too much. <laughs> Anyways, more videos there. Get wiser. Um, um, customer testimonials. Uh, a lot of things that people don't know about fighting their property taxes. It addresses a lot of fears um, a lot of people have. Um, oh, they're going to find out about my air conditioner. Um, none of that crap matters. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, please, last, subscribe if you want to. So that, that this has its own... YouTube channel also, We Chop Prop Taxes, okay? Not property, We Chop Prop Taxes, one word. Okay, you'll find it on YouTube, it's great. Um, subscribe there, please, too. Um, I've done things like creating Facebook pages and groups. I was invited to so many groups, Moms of Nutrier, Moms of Berwin, um, and, and my competitors are in these groups, and they've learned how to flag my posts, and they get removed automatically when two people flag it. And even when admins let me join for the purposes of warning their group about the two appeal windows, uh, they flag my post, get me, you know, uh, locked out of Facebook 60, 30, 60 days at a time. Once was several months during COVID. Um, and uh, I started my own group. And now and there, they were marking my post as bullying. Cook County property tax watchdogs. Uh, uh, and it... Uh, so I've stopped posting there. So YouTube, it seems to be the only place they can't mess with me. And um, um, I appreciate it. You subscribe to this one. I'm posting this on my personal one, Dream Big Kid, one word. Okay. Um, I'm going to post maybe a link to some of the charity work we've done here. Man, you got to see the orphanages. Man, the, the orphanages here are no joke. There's some that are nice and clean. There's some where like two Catholic nurses or two Catholic um, 
sisters are taking care of like 40 something kids with disabilities up to like 18 years old and um, uh, need major, major help. So um, you, I'll send you uh, another link I'll include in this email is um, a video we did during the low, no go outside order. Um, we called the police and asked if anybody needed food because me and my fiance working 16, 18 hour days for 47 days straight, we happened to make a record earning revenue month without the five employees. And it made me wonder what were the five employees doing? You know, like what, what are they doing wrong? If we, if we made the most, just the two of us, um, again, that was 18 hour days for, for 47 days straight. And, um, we called the police. It was her idea. Actually, hey, you know what? Why don't we do some good? You know, in the, in the neighborhood, call the police, see who needs help with food or whatever. It was actually fine. That getting hard to you know, grocery stores were running out of stuff. Um, at one point, you had a permit where you could go to a grocery store in Vietnam, and then they stopped that where it was no go outside and, and things had to be delivered to your house. And those were the only people allowed on the road were the people bringing food. Um, and re- grocery stores started running out because they couldn't get supplies, and um, you had to start buying vegetables on Facebook Marketplace. So she called the police, said, hey, you know, we'd like to help. You know, is there any families that you know of that need help in the neighborhood? Um, we're in District 2 of Ho Chi Minh City, and it has a river around it. On, um you can't really see it from here, though. So that's the other side. Oh, there's a bridge to it starting way down there. That's Ho Chi Minh. And it goes all the way around on, like, 90%. Uh, police said, okay, you know, I'll call you back tomorrow. I'll let you know. The next day, he never called. We're like, man, this guy doesn't care about his community, you know, during the hard time. And he called the second day. And he's like, I've got 128 families that need help. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, okay, this guy does care. And so we made the deal that, you know, we're going to buy up a bunch of stuff with a condition that we get to go out and see that it goes where it belongs because, you know, it is Asia. It is Vietnam. And, you know, uh, if you're going to do any kind of donations, especially of material goods, you need to have, you know, feet on the ground watching it get to where it needs to go. Um, uh, It's just... uh, and if you want to help, I'm going to find a way for you guys to do that. I'll probably be doing one of my first GoFundMes, you know, for the orphanages here and that. And um, there's, a, there's a lot of places. And, and the dollar goes so far here. Um, so the condition was um, they, they were happy to um, not only let us come out and be part of that during the no-go-outside order in, in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh at that time. Um, oh, yeah, that, that's the thing, too, because it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the United States here. It's, it's still, uh, they say it's a socialist. I'd say it's still pretty communist, you know, but um, you could not even go neighborhood to neighborhood. Like, for example, Chicago couldn't go into Lincoln Park. District 1 could not go into District 2. Bob wire in the fences, like wartime, crazy stuff. You'll see a lot of that on this channel. Dream big kid, okay? Um, and when you're done with that, well, you know, first, first, please go to this one. We Chop Prop Taxes, or hit this website. You'll, you'll find the YouTube channel. We Chop Prop taxes, Cook County homeowners, single family homes, all the way up to six unit buildings, never pay a percentage. It's a low flat fee. No matter how many times you get reduced, it's 100% yours. Sometimes you get refund checks up to three years back. All yours, 100%. We don't charge for refunds. But we try to keep it in the automated system. We try to stay off the phones. Phone time is killing the four or five people in the office. And I'm going to try to narrow it down. Um, uh, Here we get a lot of English speakers and then they, they... they want to, they graduate school and they want to become teachers. And I don't blame them because they can make 20 bucks an hour here doing that, which is killer. But um, then they, they go on to better things. So um, we've had a lot of turnover. I'm, I want to get down to where it's just, where, where I'm able to handle the phone calls. And I'm happy to talk to you guys. If I can keep you updated in email where you don't have to call and ask what's going on. That's my goal. Things are going to get better, okay? But um, yeah, um, we went out and they, they, they not only... Um, they not only provided us um, the ability to go outside, they, they, they gave us a truck and a team to deliver it all. It was really, really cool. So I'll post a link to that video here too. Um, my mom taught me to be generous and this is the girl I'm doing everything for. Man, good times. And that's the woman who taught me how to do it. That's mom, Box. <laughs> oh, months we took her around in a plastic bag. <laughs> We've upgraded her. So, uh, if you've been through some hard things, uh, I painted this one. Boom. Love heals all. Got some Chicago skyline stuff to remind me where I'm from. This side of the world. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Please get friends to go there, enroll, sit back and relax and know that they're fighting. All right. Take care.
Oh, yeah, that